In this tutorial in CyberLink Power Director, we're going to show you how to take a video clip, split it horizontally so part of it moves off the screen right and part off the screen left, and it discloses another clip underneath it. It's a nice transition. Let me show you an example of how that transition works when it's finished. So I'm going to take this clip of the Jeep on the beach and drop it on track number one. Then I'm going to take a clip of a raft on a river, drop it on track number two, and I'm also going to take that same clip and drop it on track number three. So what I need to do is I'm going to mask and move both two and three. So if I click on uh, track number two, I'm going to click on Designer and choose Mask Designer. If you have an earlier version of PowerDirector, you may simply click on your PIP Designer under which Mask will appear as a separate tab, but in mine it's a separate drop-down. So I'll click here, and now I'm into my Mask Designer. And so what I'd like to do is I'd like to create a mask. So we're going to do that. We'll take um, a rectangle double click and it drops on. Now I need a grid so I'm going to click on my my grid option and choose grid lines. A two by two is all I need. I want to see it split. Now I want my mask to be one half of my video. So I'll drop down on the left side on my mask scale and uncheck maintain aspect ratio because I want to change the size of the mask to be exactly half of the screen here. So now I have my left side mask. And now I have that uh, set for me. The other thing I want to do now is click on the OK button. And that one's done. Now I'll go to the other clip. We'll do the same procedure. I'll do a mask designer on that. And this time we're going to do the right side. We'll do the same procedure as we did before. Put some grid lines on. Two by two double click to get a mask and then we'll resize it oops move it over here we'll check off maintain aspect ratio and it will be one half of my object here so there I have a mask on the left side and a mask on the right side so what I want to do to separate the two I'll go back I can I'll start on the second one since that's where we were to start with here we're going to keyframe it. I'll go into my PIP designer here and let's say we want the picture to be together until about the two second mark. So I'll move my scrubber to approximately two seconds here. And then I'm going to uh, click on position. It'll stay sta stable and then we'll move to let's say four seconds and then I'm going to new use another keyframe. So at four seconds it will move off the screen. Then we'll click on OK. Now we'll go down to the other one and double click to get into the PIP designer. And so we're going to go at two seconds again and make sure at two seconds it stays uh, right on the on the screen as normal. Click on my diamond to create a keyframe. Move over to four seconds And then at, on the four second mark, we're going to drag this one off the screen horizontally as well. Click on OK. And so we go back to our original uh, clip at the top. We'll move to the beginning. So we'll play the clip now and see what happens when we use both of these masks and both of these clips and move the uh, objects in opposite directions. Starts out together splits nice, and then moves to the next scene. It's a really nice technique you can use pretty simply in CyberLink PowerDirector.